Um, so this is page six. We're gonna do the first four words. For all the words that we do in this class, we're gonna have a number for them. So if you're ever missing a word, um, someone can say, okay, what, did you, what was word number two? I wasn't here that day and they can tell you. All right, so a couple of things about your notes. This is just good for you to know. When you take notes, there's two things that you need to realize. When you take your notes, you are writing it. So it's also for you to use later. So you need to be able to read it. So please write this on the side. I'm writing horizontally, if that makes sense. Like this is a landscape. You need to be able to read it. You are gonna write it. So if you write it and you're gonna need these later, like you do an activity and it says, what is a line? What is an ortho center? And you wrote it down, but you cannot read your own handwriting. That doesn't help you. So please make sure you're writing anytime you do notes for any class, for anything, you should be able to read them. If you cannot read them, then you need to do this differently. Um, it's like this. Like I'm writing, like here's how your journal is. And then I have it turned, if anyone's wondering. So you need to be able to read it. Um, I can tell you that I don't always have the best handwriting, but I know, okay, when I'm taking notes and I have to read it, like I know I have to write it in a way. Now, the other thing is you're gonna have to be able to use the notes. So if I say something or something that helps you understand it, then you should write it down or highlight it. Or if you're like, okay, I need to remember this, put a star, this is for you to use. And once you learn how to take notes that help you, it's gonna help you out so much later in the rest of your classes. Okay, so I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna make a four by four grid. So I'm drawing three vertical segments. Okay, three of them, take up the whole thing. So three of them, so I can have four sections. And then I'm going to do the same thing along the horizontal. Okay, so now I have a four by four. There's 16 boxes. There's four columns. And then there's four rows. Someone last time kind of messed up. So hopefully you can see that when we do page seven, it'll be the same thing. So. I'm gonna give you a chance to do that. And then I'm gonna zoom in. So I'm gonna put the word here, the definition, an example, and then a non-example here, or what would be wrong. So that when you do the activities in here, you can see, okay, if it looks like this, it's wrong. And since we've, I've already graded some of the other classes, I'll show you what some of the wrong answers were so that you don't do the same thing. And then when we do the activities, you will be able to use your journal, like the warm up and exit tickets. Okay, can I zoom in now? Everyone is able to draw the grid. All right, so word number one is point. Okay, so a point is gonna look like a dot, kind of like a circle filled in. Now a point has no size, it's just location. It's, it just tells you where something is. So if you have a smartphone, it has a GPS on it, it'll always have like that little blue dot. And no matter if you zoom in or zoom out, that blue dot's gonna stay the same. If you zoom out to the entire United States and the, and the world, it's gonna stay the same. That doesn't mean you're getting bigger and bigger, it's just a location. So the way we draw points is we just draw like a dot, could be of any size, like it could look like that or like that because it doesn't have a size. And then we put a letter next to it, a capital letter next to it. So we can be able to tell them apart. So if you don't have letters next to it, it's gonna be hard to know which one is which. Okay, so let me ask you this, which one is, which point is bigger, A or B? No, they don't have size. Remember, they don't have size. Now, the like this one may look, but it's a point. So if I if it's a point, they're not going to have any size. It's just location. All right. So 
that one's there's that it could be tiny tiny i mean teeny teeny i mean but it's a still point okay could look that way but it's no size it's just location all right number two is a line now a line is two dimensional a point is one dimensional okay now what you want to remember about the line is that it it's straight uh, and it extends forever in both directions there's no beginning there's no end it just extends and extends and it keeps going because it literally keeps going forever and it i mean that's not going to fit on your paper you can't fit forever on your paper what we do so if you draw this that's in like that's not how we notate draw lines what we do because they go on forever we use arrows to indicate that they keep going and going past what you can see it's going to keep going that way it's going to keep going this way okay so when you draw an a line you have to have the two arrows otherwise you have something else and that wouldn't tell another mathematician someone else who's taken geometry that you're talking about a line there's going to be three different kinds so for example one of the things and then you can put points on it. All right. All right. So one of the things I said was that um, the arrows means that it keeps going. So for example, this would be something that you would write down like, okay, that helped me to know that arrows means that it keeps going. So you can make a note to yourself arrow means it keeps going does that make sense to everybody that's what i'm talking about when you when i say take good notes you don't have to write this down i'm just writing keeps going that's something that you would write down to your notes so you feel like okay i need to remember that if i if you didn't know that already you need to write it something like that now i'm going to give you uh, a non-example something that would be wrong so that you don't write this don't do this when we do different activities and your test so this would be wrong if you drew something like this that would be wrong can y'all see that or is that too light can okay all right so if you don't have arrows that would be wrong this is called a segment and not the line it's just part of the line but it's not the full line so if you didn't have arrows that would be wrong if someone turned this in yesterday if you did that well it's not straight so that would be wrong it has to be straight so those two would be wrong that's what i saw some people turn in yesterday so i'm showing you so that when you do your warm up, you don't get it wrong. You have to have the arrows. Okay, so next word. Number three is the segment. Hello. Sorry to interrupt. Okay, I am recording, but come on in. What's your last name? Okay. I am you don't have to hand it to me if you just show me. I think you were in another class, weren't you? Did I switch to you? No? You're good. Um, can you sit over right there? I think it's number six. And you'll need a journal for this class. We're taking notes. I'm recording right now for the students who are not here. If you don't have your journal, like a journal for this class, you can just get a sheet of paper. Okay, so uh, the next word. Number three is the segment. Okay, so segment is also two dimensional. The difference between the segment, it's only, it's just a part of the line. This one has two endpoints, so it has a beginning and an end. It's also straight, 
has two endpoints. So you would draw something like this. And that would be your segment. It could look like this. Also, you can make the points like more obvious if you wanted to do that. But it has to have two endpoints at the end. They could be super, super tiny or they can be a little bit more obvious. And this one's different though, because this is a part of the line where like it would be like if you were to do this. Does that make sense to everybody? Like if you were to take off the arrows. This one's not gonna have any arrows if you're talking about a segment because it's part of the line. Okay, the last, no one really got that wrong. Okay, number four is the ray. Now the ray is gonna be basically, it's also part of the line. And set, so the segment was no arrows. The ray has just one arrow, okay? That would be something that you could add. This one has zero arrows. The ray, it has like, you could say it has like a beginning and then it extends forever in one direction. Where the line extends forever in both directions. So it could be like this. What letters have I not used yet? It could look like that. As long as you just have one arrow. If you had both arrows, no arrows, then that would be wrong. So you have to have one arrow because it extends forever in one direction. That used to be funny a couple of years ago. I guess not anymore. All right, and that is your page six notes. Eventually you will have to send them to me and take a picture and then send them to me on Remind. Okay, it might go away, but it'll come back. 